Welcome to part three on completing the square. Last time we did example one by completing the square. And after that, our little smart chipmunk said, Hey, Miss Jane, isn't it easier to just factor? And of course, little chipmunk's right. So every time we're asked to find the roots of a quadratic equation, we should always look at it and see whether we could factor first, because that is the easiest method. Ready for example two? Y squared minus 5Y plus 2 can't be factored easily. So we'll have to do this by completing the square. The first step is always to move that constant term to the other side. So let's do that and leave a space. The positive 2 moved to the other side becomes negative 2. And now we're ready to complete the square. Take half the middle coefficient and square it. We get 5 over 2 squared and that is 25 over 4. Now don't forget to add that 25 over 4 to the right side also to keep things equal. Completing the square, we get y minus 5 over 2 squared is equal to, on the right side, we get a common denominator of 4. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 plus 25. That gives us 17 over 4. The next step is to take the square root of both sides. We get y minus 5 over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 17 over the square root of 4 is 2. So right away, let's put a 2 there. Solve for y. Bring negative 5 over 2 to the other side. We get positive 5 over 2 plus or minus square root 17 over 2. We have 5 plus or minus the square root of 17 over 2. And that's our answer. In the next example, we'll see how to complete the square if the leading coefficient is not 1. Until then, have fun. Bye.